Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another video. Here to do a very special video for you guys today. It is September 22nd, 2018 right now. And um, we still have three more months of 2018 to go. But screw it, honestly. I, I want to do this video early. And uh, I, I got to do this video more often, man. I haven't done this since 2016, man. Um... But, um, and, uh, there's not many, like, films that I plan on seeing for the rest of this year anyway, honestly. Um, because I feel like all the best ones have already come out, you know. But, uh, so I just, you know, I wanted to do this. This, this, guys, I don't know why I'm building up suspense. You already know what this is. This is my top 10 most anticipated films of 2019. Next year, 2019, man. 2019 is, it looks like it's going to be a lit year for film, man. And I'm so excited, man. Um, it'll be the final of, final one of this decade as well. Yeah, the final, this will be the final, it's the final year of this decade. 2019, and it looks like it's going to go with a bang, man. Seriously. Uh, I can't wait, man. And, uh, so yeah. Uh, let's, uh. Let's get into it, shall we? Um, you know, I, 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 it, that, that tends to happen, like, when people make videos, with myself included, like, you know, like, we, um, we, we think that there's a need to <coughs> keep rambling, sorry about that, um, but I feel like we can just get into it, and I'll explain, like, why I'm looking forward to each film. Of course, and we're going to start off from number 10, going down to number 1, even though it's pretty obvious what my number 1 is, you guys know what my number 1 is, but let's get on with it. Number 10, I'm going to go with The Lego Movie 2, the second part. Um, the first Lego Movie was amazing, man, I love that film, and the Le Lego Batman Movie was awesome as well, man, like that movie was way better than I expected. It really was, um, well, maybe not better than I expected, but it was just an amazing, like, homage film to, like, the Batman mythos, you know, and I love that film. I still haven't seen a Lego Ninjago movie. It got crappy reviews, but I still, um, would like to see it, you know. I think it'll be fun, and I love ninjas. Ninjas are so badass, man, so Lego Movie 2, um, I still haven't seen the trailer for it, so, um. Up, so, but I hope it turns out great, the movie, I probably will watch the trailer eventually, and yeah, and it's crazy, because we only have to wait till February for Lego Movie 2, wow, alright, number 9, John Wick, Parabellum, I, I don't know how to pronounce that, I don't know if I pronounced that subtitle correctly or not, but number 9, John Wick, Parabellum, uh, chapter 2, uh, I watched chapter 2 recently for the first time, and it blew me away, it was absolutely fantastic, it was so much fun, way better than the first film in my opinion, and the first one was great man, and I didn't realize it was going to turn into such a, like a cult classic favorite, uh, film series, John Wick, you know, I didn't even think it was going to turn into a trilogy man, and I remember when the film came out, I didn't see it, but I remember seeing posts like, um, like, I can't wait for John Wick Chapter 3, and I was like, what, make, what makes you think there's going to be a John Wick Chapter 3, like, I mean, there's, I, I didn't see any announcement, but then the ending of John Wick Chapter 2 made it obvious that there was going to be a Chapter 3, so yeah, that was, that was my, uh, like, feeling about that. So I get it, and uh, John Wick Chapter 3, I think, will be the biggest, the best one of the bunch um, of the three films easily. I mean, look at the set foes that we've seen. We see John Wick riding a horse with a gun against, like, a bad guy. Well, to him, it would be a bad guy. Like, enough said, that looks incredible. That It looks awesome. It's only number nine on my list, man. I can't wait to see it. Uh, number eight. I'm going to go with Toy Story 4, and 
like a good friend of mine said, and a lot of people say, um, they they real a lot of people think Toy Story four shouldn't happen because Toy Story three ended so perfectly, and uh, and um, yeah, I get it, but I mean, I mean, a fourth film couldn't hurt. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be great. You know, I can't wait to see it. I have no idea what direction they're gonna go. I think I heard, I re I think I might have read somewhere that they were going for um, uh, like Woody and Bo Peep or something like that. Uh, I don't know if that's what's actually gonna happen. That would be cool. I would like that to happen. But yeah, number seven, I'm gonna go with Captain Marvel. This movie, the trailer was absolutely awesome. I mean, I can't wait to, to see this film, man. And especially since it takes place in the 90s, man. Like, wow. I mean, it's going to be so awesome. Uh, people say, oh, she doesn't have any emotions in the trailer. So what? Alright? Like, so what? It looks awesome. I can't wait to see what Nick Fury is going to be like. I can't wait to see how it ties into everything, basically. Um, it just looks great. I, it, it looks awesome to me, man. And, uh, and if you guys don't know, it actually releases on International Women's Day, March 8, 2019. Uh, that's the US release date, at least. It could release early for New Zealand and Australia, like it always does. And, but yeah. Number six. Joker. Yep. Uh, this was a movie that I originally... Didn't care for it at all, man. I was like, what? why are they doing a separate Joker movie? That's what I was like, because it's separate from the DCU. And, because as much as I throw shade at the DCU a lot, I love Jared Leto as the Joker. And I wanted him to get his own, um, to get his own, like, Joker solo film. And apparently that is actually happening. Um, it is in the works, but... A lot of, like, DCU announced films get cancelled, so I wouldn't be surprised if that was one of them. But this Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie, directed by Todd Phillips, who directed The Hangover, um, and produced by Bradley Cooper. Um, it was originally going to be produced by Martin Scorsese, and I wish she was still producing it, but I, I, I am looking forward to what Bradley Cooper is going to bring. And I hope he does good, and I like that it's Bradley Cooper going to be doing it. Uh, but... Todd Phillips, uh, director of The Hangover, I never would have thought would direct, like, a comic book film, like, ever. Really not who I would imagine to direct, direct a Joker movie, you know. But this movie looks awesome. That test footage thing, test footage teaser thing that was released earlier, it looks awesome, man. And I, I really love it. It, it, it looks like it's going to be so emotional. And I love it. Like, it looks... And if that is um, how he is, he's actually going to look as the Joker in the film, I wouldn't mind it at all. I actually like it a lot. I mean, it's completely different to any other Joker we've ever seen. I mean... Like, it... Like, um... And, like, the more I hear about this film, the more I want to... The more I anticipate it, you know? Like, I went from not caring about this film to... Wow, this movie looks freaking awesome, actually. Like, wow. Like, <laughs> like that was a 0 to a 101 real quick, man. Oh, uh, Joker. I can't wait for Joker. I believe that's the title. Um, and I, I wish Alec Baldwin was still playing Thomas Wayne. But, uh, you know, what can you do, you know? Um, I respect his decision for leaving the project. Um, but, uh, but, yeah. I still, uh, it's got that guy from Dark Knight Rises, which is awesome, because, you know, I mean, you, I didn't even need to explain how much I love the Dark Knight Rises, so yeah, uh, see, so, yeah. so now, we're going on to the top five now, and number five, I'm gonna go with Glass, Glass, man, it's, it's a, it's a really amazing crossover idea, man, I mean, M. Night Shyamalan is back, man, he directed Unbreakable, which is by far my favorite movie of his, and probably one of my favorite films of all time, honestly. And Split came out uh, last year, and it was absolutely awesome. I love that film so much, Split. Um, 
but probably because of the, mostly because of the fact that it's in the the Unbreakable universe, honestly. But like bringing that and Unbreakable together in this crossover film, look, it's it's gonna be amazing. Like, and I can't wait to see. I have no idea how it's gonna go. Like, man, oh man, I, w I wonder what the twist will be. You know, I hope it's a good one. Cause uh, yeah, M Night Shyamalan is known for like twists at the end of pretty much every single one of his movies, and um, I hope it. I I can't wait, man. This this looks like it's gonna be. This uh, it looks incredible. Like, it seriously is. Like, I don't know what else to say. I mean, these movies haven't come out yet for the love of science. Like, <laughs> so I can't say like how good these movies are or anything. Like, I'm just saying how much I'm looking forward to them. You know. And also give my thoughts, really. Number five, Glass. I'm so freaking excited for that, man. And number four, Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, along with Batman, man. Uh, and Spider-Man Far From Home, it's a sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming, man. And Spider-Man Homecoming freaking blew me away. Spider-Man Homecoming was way better than I expected, actually. Oh man, I love that film so much, and to get a sequel doesn't hurt at all, man. And um, I hope it's true that uh, Jake Gyllenhaal is playing um, Mysterio, and I hope it's uh, the fishbowl-looking Mysterio rather than the ultimate Mysterio, which I wouldn't be surprised if that's the one they're going for. Please be the fishbowl Mysterio, please, because um, that would be incredible. Oh, Spider-Man Far From Home. And I and it apparently takes place minutes after Avengers 4 ends, which I will get back on to later. Um, but that's number four for me, guys. Spider-Man Far From Home. Number three. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I mean, this movie just looks awesome. I mean, it's a, it's a shame that uh, Burt Reynolds died and... He didn't get to film his scenes for this film, but Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, man, this movie looks just the cast, the, the cast who's directing it, like, this could be, like, Quentin Tarantino's, this could be my favorite Tarantino film, Sense and Glorious Bastards, and that's one of my favorite movies of all time, I mean, like, I can't wait to see this, man, just, everything about it just sounds amazing, you know, just... Man, I'm talking about it. I'm talking about these films as if I'm reviewing them, which is obviously not true. <laughs> but like this movie, I, I can't wait to see it. The cast, the directing, the director, the writer, and just the overall story, like the Manson family murders. Um, and it's got Bruce Lee, and you got Margot Robbie, Margot Robbie playing. What's her name? Sharon Tate. I can't wait to see this film, man. Number three, like I get. I'm just so hyped for it, man. And number two, Star Wars Episode Nine. Just Star Wars Episode Nine. That's that's all. Um, I love the Last Jedi so much. The Last Jedi friggin' blew me away. Last Jedi was like my first or second best film of last year. Um, the only film I might put above it is Dunkirk, cause that blew me away. Um. It was a. I love the last year. A lot of people hate it, and I hope, and I hope it does like. There's a lot of really crappy habit haters, you know, like, oh, like boo hoo. Your fan theories didn't come through. Cry me a river. Seriously, I can't wait for this. If it's anything like the Last Jedi, I'm gonna be happy, man. Star Wars Episode Nine, number two, number one. Should I go into some honorable mentions first? I feel like I'm probably going to forget honorable mentions. You know, I'll say a bunch of honorable mentions from the top of my head right now. Uh, it Chapter 2, uh, Shazam, Wonder Woman 1984, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, Lion King, Hellboy, um... New Mutants, I forgot about that, actually. Um, I'm actually looking at, like, comments saying uh, most of the films. Uh, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle 2. 
I, I still haven't seen the first one yet. Terminator 6, Men in Black, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I'm not that excited for it, but yeah. Um, uh, X-Men Dark Phoenix. Uh, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. And, uh, that's it, I think. Those are the honorable mentions. All the honorable mentions I wanted to mention. Um, but, you know, number one, <laughs> it's so obvious. Number one is Avengers 4. Like, seriously. What else was going to be my number one? Seriously. Avengers and Fanny War. I've talked about how much I love that film to death, like, so many times at this point. Oh, and I, and I hope I'm getting it on Blu-ray for my birthday, man. Like, my birthday's in three days, actually. So, yeah, I, I'm so excited, man. And well, Avengers 4, man. Like, holy... Like, I don't even know what they're gonna do. I still... We still don't know the title. But... And, uh... I don't know when we're gonna get a trailer, man. I don't know how they're gonna market it, man. It just... It's like, it's gonna be just... I, I have no idea, man. I, I, I'm so excited for Avengers 4, man. I, I want it now. I want it now, but... We still got seven more months. We still got seven, eight more months. And uh, there's nothing we can do. Um, But I can't wait, man. So that's my list, guys. Uh, along with honorable mentions, which I kind of, like, abruptly put in. Like, I, which I put in on the spot. And was kind of just naming it at the top of my head, so... Yeah. So yeah, uh, that's my top 10 most anticipated films, my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2019, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Uh, peace out, guys. And, uh, you know, what's, what's your list? You know, what do you think of my list? So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.